video! Hey, people that like to do stuff. Let's do some C++. Um, I know absolutely no C++, so I'm going to be using C++.com for a lot of the tutorials and copy and pasting, so yeah. Um, let's start off with the cool part. Gotta change that. There we go. Now, if we run it, you can't see it, but it does not say hello world. Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, it said hello world. I'm gonna try that again. Okay, it worked. So, now, let's do something a little cool, if you ask me. So, if you do something, let's make an input. So, if you don't know how to make an input, an input's pretty simple. As you saw, this is an STD count, is C out, C out thing. What it's doing right here, I have no idea what STD means. Um, I could search it online, but I'm not. C out means um, the output, which is, for me, a little pop-up. For you guys, you can't see it, but that's okay. And then these are gonna, I have no idea what these do, but this is the string that you're gonna write and pop up in the output. Then the semicolon, just for it to work. So let's write an integer. We're gonna have to write an integer as input. Let's name it integer input. Yeah, you're welcome. Now, STD, but this time we're gonna do STD sin. Sin stands for CN. You probably knew that, but uh, move on. Then you have to do the little, you're gonna have to do these except inverted. So you're gonna have to do a little boom boom. Then you're gonna wanna write input and then put the semicolon. You may wanna Make sure it is exactly the same. Make sure exactly the same. And here, I'll try showing you guys the pop-up this time. Let me run it. Okay guys, for some reason that didn't work, but I got a little picture of it and I'll show it up on screen. Um, maybe I already showed it, I don't know. But here, as you see, this is an input, this is this is a um, hello world. Now let's try looking at a function really quick. <laughs> uh, help me see blissplus.com. I'll be right back. So guys, I've done an hour of debugging. Um, I've literally got to, I literally had to get help from my dad, who's done programming for like 20 years. To help me out with this, he told me I just had to restart the project, and I do not feel like helping or explaining what this does, so look at it, copy it down, and yeah, I'm way too tired to just say what it does. Actually, you know what, I'll just do it. Who cares if my, if my time gets messed up, you already saw it. Alright, so you have to write in void and the name, let's name it message. Then you got some curly brackets. Then you have to write it in. I hate debugging. Then you just have to write SED balloon. See out. You just have to write all this message. And 
Boom. Oh, remember? Don't put a semicolon. They are a pain in the eh. Yeah, well, you can't see it, but it did work. As you can see, there's no issues found, so yeah. This is the function thing, void equals unknown. Message is the name of the function. And then, this is what the function will do, which will print out at the output a I'm function. I'm a function. And then, and then in the main, where everything gets printed out, you have message, the name of the function. So, if you wonder what the function does, it is a pain to debug. And remember, I did have to say this, if you did this in a um, new project, you're gonna have to restart and go to a different one, because it will not work. You have to d go to a console application or whatever. Well, yeah, if you understand and you're using Visual Studios, you'll know what I mean. I'll see you later. I'm too tired to actually do anything, so peace.